national publications have pegged Derek Dooley and the Bulldogs as rising stars. But you will not catch Double D or his team reading the press clippings. You want the fans to be excited in the spring because it means you're doing something. You want the players to be confident that they can go out there and win the conference title. All right, so that, that's important. But at the same time, there's got to be some respect and humility for the game and know that if you don't do what it takes to do those things and you don't prepare the way you need to prepare and you don't work the way you worked the last year, you're going to go out and get embarrassed. We're, we're thinking we're a BCS team going into this season. We're not, I mean, all the jokes aside, we're, we're serious when we hit the field now. Everything's laid out. We're, we're listening to the coaches. Everyone's on key. 17 starters return from the Independence Bowl championship squad, but the Bulldogs still have several holes that must be addressed. The receiving core is extremely young. The corners and linebackers are untested, and the dogs continue to look for a consistent pass rusher. Uh, in the areas that you're concerned about, uh, it's hard to say really we got any answers right now uh, because I don't think the answers come like that. Coming off their first bowl victory since 1977, the Bulldogs appear ready to venture into new territory. Entering his third season at Louisiana Tech, Dooley says it's a challenge he will cautiously take. Well, the first two years we were really able to play off on you know, nobody thinks we can do anything. Well, now we got to learn. People expect us to do something, and we're going to go back it up. We're not slacking off. And that's a hard thing to learn as a competitor. The Bulldogs will get an opportunity to shine early as they travel to Auburn for their season opener. For CST Tonight, I'm Aaron Dietrich.